folks, you have to know what slot machines to play, I'll tell you. In fact, there are slot machines designed for all different kinds of people. They got fish and frogs and Dracula and all, all kinds of stuff. So you have to know which ones to play. In fact, they even put brand new slot machines in just for the senior citizens. Really. Instead of cherries across the middle, it's got prunes across the middle. <laughs> And there's a bonus, you get three prunes, you go straight to the crap table. <laughs> but speaking of money, uh, I would like to uh, borrow some for just a moment. Uh, does anyone have a $100 bill that I could borrow for just a moment? Who's got a $100 bill out there? Let's see who's got one. Anyone? Don't all jump at once. You, sir, do you have a $100 bill I could borrow? That's fantastic. Would you step right down here towards me? And everybody will give you a big round of applause. Let's hear it for it for putting up a hundred bucks. Come on down. Fantastic. We can walk a little faster, that'd be fine. <laughs> what is your name? Would you stand right over here for me? What is your name again? Jeff. Jeff. And where are you from here, Jeff? Michigan. From Michigan. Fantastic. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Not so free with the cash there, are we? I promise, I promise, nothing will happen to your money. In fact, I've done this thousands of times and nothing ever happens that much. Okay. In fact, I have a pen here just to prove that nothing's going to happen. Everything is free and above board. And so you'll recognize this $100 bill if you ever see it again. <laughs> I'd like you to take the pen. And on the back of the bill there, Jeff, just write Jeff really big. Place the bill against my back and just write Jeff really big. And then once you've printed your name, I'd like you to put your credit card number and sign it. <laughs> That's good. good. I got a pitch right there. Did you get that too? Thanks so much. That's great. Now, uh, by the way, this is a permanent marker. Uh, it used to say that right there, but it rubbed off. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> but the ink doesn't rub off, right? Check that. Permit. Good. And we'll hold it up to show everyone that you've just committed a felony. <laughs> Security. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's good stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was rude. Did you want some? That's <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. Hey, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, right? <laughs> Now we're going to uh, take the money, and I'm going to fold up the money because we're going to uh, perform a little experiment with your $100 bill. And the reason it's called an experiment is because experiments are iffy. Tricks usually work. <laughs> now, uh, we're going to roll this into a nice tight wad. Do you know what a tight wad is? <laughs> Don't pass on that. Well, it took you long enough to get up here with the money. I think you're done. You're done. Inside my pocket over here, I have a pair of these. I don't know what you would actually really use these for. <laughs> but we have a couple of college graduates out there. <laughs> hey, did you ever go to one of those ear parties? <sighs> ear! <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't overdo it. <laughs> Now, in case anything should happen to the money, I'll tell you what, Jeff, you get a prize, and this is your prize. Uh, it's the only prize I had. It's my lunch. My wife packed it for me, so let's see what wonderful delicacy she has packed for me today. Some lemons and a marshmallow. It's Atkins. <laughs> hey, you know what? My wife's not the best cook. In fact, in my house, we pray after we eat. <laughs> But uh, this is all yours. All these fabulous prizes are yours. If, if I can only have one marshmallow. Can I have one marshmallow? Yes. Okay, cool. Thank you, Jeff. I appreciate it. Reach in there and grab out one marshmallow for me. That's great. Perfect. We'll seal the rest of this up. And now, since this is a very valuable prize, we need someone to look after the prize. And uh, that would be our bag man. I need the bag man. Let's see. You, sir, right there. We're going to staple this shut. What is your name? Tom. Tom? Yes. Tom, you're going to be the bag man. Ready to catch. Perfect. Excellent catch. <laughs> Play for the Michigan team. <laughs> oh, come on now, people. I love you, Jeff. I love you. All right. Tom, <laughs> let's go, Blue. You have a very important job, Tom. You are going to be a part of this fabulous, fantastical, magical mystery tour, this play, this tour de force we're going to perform. You have the role of the beautiful, 
Las Vegas, showgirl. <laughs> and as a beautiful Las Vegas showgirl, when I say, who's got the bag? Your job is to stand up, face these folks over here, and go, yoo-hoo, I've got the bag. Mwah! Yeah, let's practice. <laughs> Wait till I say it. Wait till I say who's got the bag. Sit down, sit down. A little anxious there, Tom. Do you have the lines? You who, I've got the bag, and then blow a big kiss to these folks over here. You ready? Who's got the bag? coming your way. <laughs> Do it just as good or better the next time I ask, all right? Perfect. Now, Tom, your money is going to, uh, I mean, Jeff, that's right, you're Tom. Good memory. <laughs> Who's that? Is there a guy sitting next to you? What's that guy's name? Norm. Norm, Norm how you doing? Fantastic. Norm, you're going to back me up. You're going to be my bodyguard. In case Jeff starts looking a little angry, I need you to back me up. <laughs> you're going to be the guy with the knife. Take this knife. Take the knife, Norm. You have a very important job. In case Jeff starts looking angry like he's going to jump me, pull some karate or something, I'm going to say, who's got the knife? Well, that's right, you do have the knife, but you're going to be my bodyguard, so you've got to be a tough guy. When I say, who's got the knife, you stand up, face all these nice folks over here and go, yo, over here. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> Who's got the knife? Yo, over here! <laughs> that Viagra must be kicking in, huh? <laughs> and make sure you really grab. I don't want to come down to come down there and do it for you. <laughs> Good job. All right, now, Jeff, here's the fun part. We're going to play a game. The reason I brought you up here, the whole crux of this experiment, I'll take the marshmallow for later, but right now, I am going to seal your money inside one of these envelopes. Your job, I'm going to charge you with psychic energy. If you guess the correct envelope, you win. Now sit down your tongue. Sexy. <laughs> hey, look at that. That wouldn't stick when I licked it earlier. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that to you. But here are two other envelopes from my pocket. One here and one here. These have something in them, pieces of paper. All right? Now, your job is to guess which envelope contains the money. But what is this all about? This is all about me giving you my psychic powers, my psychic energy for just a few moments so that you can correctly determine which one has your money in it. Are you ready to receive the psychic powers? Demons be gone! <laughs> Do you feel psychotic? I'm psychic? <laughs> Do you feel psychic now? You feel the energy coursing for you. Let's perform one test before we get down to the main event. I have written a word on this card before I came out here. Do you have any idea what word I wrote? No. No? Good idea. That is correct! <laughs> Nobody ever gets that. Yeah. Now, the choice is very important. You have to reach out and take one of these envelopes, but don't let me influence you as to which envelope you should pick. <laughs> It should be a free choice using your psychic energy. <laughs> that wasn't obvious. <laughs> now I'll give you a chance. Would you like to trade for one of these two or keep the one that you have? <laughs> yeah, you can trade for what's behind the curtain if you like. I don't care. All right. And the reason that the choice that you make is very important because we're going to raise the stakes just a little bit. <laughs> you didn't think I was actually going to do anything, did you? <laughs> you fool. <laughs> Let's all sing Kumbaya. <laughs> envelope number one, gone forever. Now, one more chance. Would you like to take this envelope or keep the one you have there? All right, fair enough. Now, folks, let's recap what has just happened. <laughs> we gave our lovely Las Vegas showgirl a bag. 
We gave Norm out there the knife. Jeff signed his name on some money. We sealed it in one of three envelopes. And Jeff, using his newfound psychic powers, has determined which envelope contained his money. Now, for the first time, tear that envelope open and show everyone that you definitely have the power within you. This show's worth a hundred Absolutely 
ordinary leaven, no holes, no cuts. This was absolutely ordinary life, nothing funny. This has been in the entire, entire time out in the audience. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this open and take out the seeds. And if you take those seeds back to Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> and play under your front yard, my age will grow back. I'm very close. I'll cut the silver all the way around, being careful not to damage anything that might be inside. I hope I guarantee you will not forget this for a very long time. Reach over there very slowly, Jeff, and pull the top of that.